is DDK and I'm back today with another video. Shout out to you for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button. I will be doing a giveaway when I get 50,000 subscribers. I'm giving away 500. I'm going to show you guys who's running. The prizes are 250, 150, and 100 in hundreds. We're going to keep on running it like Chris Brown. We ain't playing around. In today's video, baby, I have a crazy, <laughs> I got a crazy story time for you guys. So let's get right into it. Let's get right into the story, baby. I know you want to know this story, baby. It's a crazy story, but I'm going to tell you guys a lesson that I learned in this story. So the order pops in. Book up! That joint come right in, baby. Now, we are going to the airport. We are picking up 50 parcels. The parcels are oversized bags, like some, some body bags, some uh, big rolling suitcase type of things, and some hat boxes. But the crazy thing about this order is it's supposed to weigh 3,500 to 3,999 pounds, baby. So it's gonna be crazy. But I'm thinking in my head, is it really gonna weigh this much? I don't really think it is because what you're pretty much telling me is each bag gotta weigh like 75 pounds or something. I just don't, I, I don't know, man. I'm thinking it's really not gonna weigh that much. So, 50 parcels again. We're driving 18.4 miles. The payout is 229.68. We went there to get that cake to be great. And guess what? We're gonna skate. So we skated right to the airport. We get there. Mind you, I'm supposed to be picking up this order at 7 p.m. Not a.m. 7 p.m. We drive to the airport. I call them. Hey, how you doing? This is Jerome. I'm here to pick up the bags and the luggage for you. Guess what they say? I'm glad you called. Guess what? Our flight has been delayed three times. The flight has been delayed three times, baby. Why did y'all call me? That's what I want to know. If the flight was delayed, why did y'all give me a call and say, hey, how you doing, Jerome? The flight is going to be late, so come at this time. They never told me nothing. So now I, it's 7 p.m., and I'm going to have to sit there all the way until 9.30, baby. So two hours and 30 minutes. So I'm like, you know what? Guess what? I ain't got nothing else going on. I might as well sit and wait till 9 30 because I'm about to get paid for wait time anyway. While we're here on the ground. So, this happened. We pull around to the pickup to pick up all this luggage. And I'm talking about I walk in that joint. First off, the lady seemed like she was kind of rude a little bit. I, I'm just going to tell you guys on the truth. They was kind of like nuts, not really didn't talk to me that much. Just said, wave me over there and said, this the bags. And just, just kind of walked up from there. Really didn't say nothing. So, I'm thinking in my head, here we go with this. You look, I just waited two and a half hours for you to get to the airport. I couldn't left. I just waited two and a half hours, and you're going to be very ungrateful and not really appreciate what I'm doing. But it's all good, baby. I'm about to get this money. Understand me. Understand me. So, we to load these bags up. I'm talking about the bags were so big and heavy that the airport people had to actually get this big old cart thing and put body bags on there. I had a dolly, but I only was able to use the dolly one time because it was too heavy for the dolly. And, like, the bags were sliding off and all that stuff, and I couldn't get through the door. So, I was like, forget all that. The dolly, you got to stay, you got to stay in the back of the van. So, we get everything loaded up and now we're about to hit the road and get our pockets on swole so before i show you guys the footage of us unloading I'm thinking in my head, the whole time when we drive, I'm thinking in my head like, man, I low-key feel like y'all trying to y'all trying to play me. Y'all trying to act like I was the help. Like, the way how y'all played me, I had a little problem. I, I ain't going to lie. I, and I, I forgot to tell you guys this. It's a very important thing I've got to tell you this. Look, don't tell nobody this, but look, the person we picked up all this luggage and stuff for, the person, I didn't meet the person, but they are famous. They're a celebrity, baby. It's a celebrity. That's why they had to carry all this luggage from the airport to the hotel because it was a celebrity and they needed all this stuff for them. So it was it was crazy, baby. So that happened. But I'm thinking in my head, this is a whole time in my head, baby. As we driving to the pickup location, I'm like, guess what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen is they're gonna have to go back home. And when it's time for them to go back home, they're gonna have to call us because somebody's gonna put the order in the app and then somebody with a van is gonna come, but the van is not gonna be big enough to fit all this stuff because literally, I'm not lying to you guys, literally, the van was full to the brim. Oh, one a little bit. Before we before we left the, uh, the airport, guess what? They had the nerve to ask me, can I fit their luggage in there? Absolutely not. You wanna act like that, guess what? 
take it with you, baby. Get in your Uber and take that luggage with you, because this ain't that. This ain't that. I, I understand that everybody famous and all this, but hey, hey, I don't care if it's Joe Biden, Barack Obama, Donald, I don't care about nothing, whoever it is. Hey, treat people right, because I ain't going for it. You don't get to just do me how you ever want to do me. I ain't going for it, baby. My mom always told me, show people how to treat you. So, that, boom. So we get there, and then we unload, and we better get our pockets on swole. Now, I want to say a huge shout out to the guys at the hotel. They helped me out a lot. It was real. It was real in the field, baby. It was real in the field, but we got everything unloaded. It took like three or four of us. I had dragged the stuff to the back of the van, and they took it, took it, took it, took it, took it. So huge shout out to them. But guess what happened? I go home. Mind you guys, I didn't get home until 12 a.m. The pickup time was 7 p.m. We had to wait till 9.30. Then after 9.30, we had to get all the stuff in the van, take it to this hotel, unload it, and we left Chicago at 11 p.m. And I got home at 12 a.m., baby. So we had a long day. But Sunday comes around. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, baby. It's Sunday. I wake up in the morning to this text. The text said, hey, sir, would you ever available tomorrow? I, I guess they was trying to say, hey, sir, are you available tomorrow? They assigned a too small vehicle to put all that stuff in. I told you guys what was going to happen, baby. I told y'all what was going to happen. Can you be there by 10.30 a.m.? So, I said, okay, I can do it. But with the short notice, it's going to be, guess how much? Guess how much I charge them to do this order? I need $500. I need 500 baby. I understand, and all this and all that, and all this, that, and that sounds good. But when I was there, it was kind of rude to me, and I ain't, I wasn't really feeling it. You tried to play me like I was, like I was to help, like I wasn't nothing. So guess what? You, my friend, are going to pay me $500 to get out my bed on this Father's Day, even though I ain't got no kids, to do this order. So, they said, can you do 400 please? I said, 475 is the lowest I will go. That's it. That's all. That's it, that's all. They said, can you do 450? I said, 475 is the lowest I can go. They said, okay, do you have Zelle Cash App? I said, hey, I got Cash App, Zelle, Venmo, whatever you wanna do, baby. I, <laughs> I just need that money like it ain't funny. So, they already sent me the money. I shut out there, boom, I get there. Everything cool, I get there early. They told me to be there at 10.30. I get there like at 10.15ish. I had to park over there, wait for them, and then we loaded up all the bags. Now y'all about to see us get to this bag. Let's go. And it is time to get it done to get these funds. Get them on. So as you guys can see, we got these in, right? So it's these. And then there's gonna be a whole bunch of duffel bags and they actually snuck their luggage in. Last time I'm gonna take their luggage, I already told y'all that. I didn't take their luggage last time. So they snuck their luggage in. So I might have to put the luggage like up here somewhere on top of that. Right. Now we have the first round of duffel bags, baby. Hey, we got plenty more to go. Y'all, this got plenty more room. We got plenty more to go and they definitely snuck this luggage in. I know what they did, I know what they did. Y'all know what y'all did, but it's all good, baby. Y'all about to pay me folks. Y'all already paid me 475, so I ain't complaining. I'm maintaining. We have our second set of duffel bags added. They said it is 10 more duffel bags. Then we have some of these right here. Now, this is the finished product, baby. Y'all see what's going on. Look at all this. Ooh, woo. Yeah. It's like that, baby. Time to hit the road to get our pockets on swole. Let's go. Look what we ran into, baby. I'm talking about traffic, traffic. Looking for my chapstick. There's a four mile. I'm talking about big traffic, baby. This is only a 16 mile. It was only 18 miles away. And this said it was going to take 57 minutes just because of all this traffic, baby. Like that we are here at the airport to get busy. I'm glad you guys are with me. I'm about to move kind of swiftly. RP Nipsey. Please observe the so, no sky cap. Hello, how you doing? Are you guys sky cap? Yes. Yes. I have like to drop off like 50 bags. It's band equipment. First load done, baby. They got two big old cars. They got them joints out. So now we have to work on this, baby. So hopefully one comes soon. So we keep on getting busy. Yeah, baby.
and just like that, it is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Now, what I learned from this from this whole experience is, A, you got to pay to play and do not shortchange yourself all the time thinking that you ain't gonna get the business. Look, if y'all want me to get up and do this, y'all gotta pay me that money, baby. I'm not going, I'm not going for anything less. 475 is the lowest I'm going. They paid me the 475 with no problem. And before I left, they said they was very happy with my service. I made everything very easy for them. Now, if I would have went for that 400, they probably would have tried to treat me like crap again. After everything, they was real cool. They was real nice. They was, they was, they, you know, we was having, we was having camaraderie then. We was cool then. But before they tried to play me, baby, and I was not going. So learn from my mistakes. Do not always go for BS. I understand that we run in the business and all that stuff, but everybody needs to pay to play. Hey, 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 get the clapping. Hey, baby, baby. Before we go, let me say this. Do not forget to subscribe if you want your chance to win some of these dividends. Hey, and have your friends and you out here having a good time while you're on the grind. I'll see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.